Hi hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today I'm going to show you how you can deploy your Flask app using Docker image on AWS EC2 instance. So let's begin. So guys, I have a sample Flask app right here, which is present in this Flask folder. So it just has a simple app.py, which has just one endpoint, which heads up to the index.html, which is just a single template right here. All right, so we have our app ready with the requirements.txt. So now, first of all, we need to build an image for this uh, Flask app, how we can build is first of all, we can create a docker file dot plus along with the directory or the folder of our Flask app, like present right here. And we can build and we can write the standard configurations for a docker file for a Flask app, which are present right here. So, first of all, we can get the Python 3.9, then the slim version, and we can set the work directory as slash app. Now we can copy the Flask's requirements dot txt to the root of our docker image. Then we can install the requirements by running the command pip install hyphen r requirements.txt. And then we can copy the whole of Flask app to the root directory of a Docker image. And just by exposing the 5000 port, we are ready to run our Flask app with the command python app.py. So that is the format of a standard Flask app for Docker file. If you have uh, some more complicated directories inside the Flask app, like static files, you can uh, simply create static folder as well inside your docker image and that will work for you all right so now we can move on to the building of the docker image for this flask app so first of all we need to build this image first of all we can uh, look for a medium through which we are going to transfer this docker image to our ec2 instance so i'm going to use docker hub for this purpose where we can upload our docker files so currently there are i think no repositories inside this so we can import repositories inside docker hub uh, first of all, we can log in inside Docker Hub using Docker login method and it says the login is succeeded. Perfect. And now we can build our image. How we're going to build is Docker build command, which is Docker build hyphen T. And then the name of the image, which I, which I want to keep, which is just Flask app, something like that. So let's keep it as Flask. And then I'm going to put the hyphen F flag to refer to the file present here, Docker file dot Flask. This is actually present inside the Docker directory. And now we can write the dot to reference it to the root directory. All right, so this should start building our Docker image. Um, it says it could not find dot flask. All right, so we basically have to go inside the Docker directory and then run this command. So this will work now perfectly fine. All right, so now our Docker image has been built. If I click on Docker images, I shall see the image with the name flask right here. Perfect. Now we have to push this image to Docker Hub. And how we're going to do that is first of all, we have to tag this image to the Docker Hub's username. And how we're going to tag it is we can tag the image using Docker tag function. So we have to run Docker tag and then the image name, which is Flask right here. And then my Docker Hub username, which is path 2k3 slash name of uh, repository file. I want to keep it. So I'll just name it as Flask as well. And then I'm going to pass the tag here, which can be just the latest tag for anything you want. All right, so I have now tagged it. Now I can push my image, which can be done by Docker push, and then the name of my tagged image, which is path 2k3 slash flask with a tag of latest. And this should process the pushing. All right, so it is pushing the flask image to my Docker Hub. So if you have not authenticated with Docker inside your terminal, it will prompt you to authenticate using browser when you run the Docker login command. So that will authenticate your Docker inside a terminal to the Docker Hub account for you. All right, so now we'll just wait for it to push the image to Docker Hub. All right, so we have pushed our Flask image to Docker Hub. 
So now we can also create a file for Nginx. We can create an image for an Nginx. So we can directly run Nginx as well as Flask app concurrently using a Docker Compose file, which is used to run multiple Docker images at once. So we can continue on building our Docker file for Nginx. So we can create that. And I'll just name it something like dockerfile.nginx. And now I can proceed on building this file. And how I'm going to uh, build this is um, we can, first of all, import the nginx image and we can get the latest tag for this image and then we can run a function which will remove the default configuration file and set our configuration file for that so we, i'm going to put run rm slash etc slash nginx slash conf dot d slash default dot conf and then I'm going to replace it with our file, which I'm going to create in a second. So we can replace it with co uh, copy command, copy default.conf to our path inside the uh, Docker image, which will be slash etc slash nginx slash conf dot t. All right, so for creating this default.conf, we can create this file in this directory itself. So I'll just name something like default.conf now i can write my nginx configuration file right here so for the flask app i'll write this as server then i can write in the listen 80 port and we can write in server name for us so for the server name we have to pass the public ip of our ec2 instance so let's head on to creating our ec2 instance now all right so for this head up to the AWS console and head up to the ec2 service inside your console you can just search it up like here which is ec2 and head it in head it uh head inside the launch instance button now you can just click on flask app or something like that flask app and now you can select your os for this i'll just go with ubuntu because that is universally used by developers and also i can select the t2.micro which is free to eligible i'll select any key pair if you do not have one you can create one using create new key pair button now I need to allow HTTPS and HTTP traffic so public can access my instance using the public IP given above. All right, so I think I will keep all other configurations as it is, as it is and now I will launch the instance. So we can uh, see our instance listed in the section now and I will just copy the public IP address here. And now I will paste my server name as this. Perfect. Now we can configure the location block for an Nginx and how it's going to work is we have to write the proxy pass first of all proxy pass will pass the proxy from the local host 5000 port where our flask app runs but this would not work because currently uh, we do not run this on localhost we will run this in a docker container so we have to pass the name of that container and the name of that container is i think that would be flask because that is the eventual name for the container it's going to be but again when we push or pull the tagged image we're going to have the name of the image different but we can define the name of the container inside the docker compose so we do not have to care about that we will just declare the name of our flask app as flask flask container as flask all right so now we can hit its 5000 port and now we can move on to the next parameter which is proxy set header and i can set the host as host now I can again pass the XVL IP parameter and set it to remote address. And I can pass another parameter like X forwarded for, and I can set it, set the variable as proxy add X forwarded for. And then I can pass another parameter, which is uh, set header forward proto, and I can set it as scheme. All right, so I think that those are enough configurations for Nginx. And also for the fact that we can remove the last configuration, we'll also make this work as well. All right, so now I'll just save this file and we can reference it inside our Docker file for Nginx now. Perfect. And now we can just simply expose the AT port because that is eventually where our Nginx server will be running. Perfect. So now we can build this Docker image for Nginx as well with the command docker build hyphen T. Then we can um, simply, we can directly tag our Nginx file to our Docker hub by, running, uh, by keeping the name as my username for docker hub slash the repository name which i'm gonna keep which will be slash nginx for this and then i can 
um, pass the tag for this, which we can pass later on. So I will just also reference this using the hyphen app. And then I can pass the Docker file dot nginx and then dot. This should build my image for nginx inside my terminal and system, local system. So let's just wait for this image to be created. All right, so I think my image has been created. If I check in the Docker images section, we have we see that we have another image right here. Now we can push this image to our Docker Hub as well with the command Docker push, then park 2k3, which is the username for my Docker Hub slash nginx and the latest tag because that is the default I created for an image for an image. All right, so if I run this command, this should push my nginx image to Docker Hub. So let's just wait for this to push it to the Docker Hub. All right, so my image has been pushed to Docker Hub now. I'll just confirm it by refreshing this page and both of my images should be present right here. And perfect, so we have the Nginx as well as Flask image right here. Now we can take the pull of these images in our instance. So I'll just connect to our instance using EC2 instance connect and I'll just click on connect to connect this inside my browser itself. I just waited for it to connect and now we are inside our system, perfect. So now I can just run some standard commands which is would have to upgrade or update which will update all my repository package lists All right, so we have updated our package list. Now we can install Docker inside our instance. And how do we install this is by running the command sudo app install docker dot io. And I'll just pass the Y flag to confirm all the questions. So we will just wait for this to install. And um, so yeah, this is installed. Now I can install Docker Compose to run multiple Docker images at once. We can install that by using sudo app install docker compose i believe all right perfect so we have installed docker and docker compose as well we can confirm that using docker hyphen hyphen version we should return a number and also similarly with the docker compose hyphen hyphen version and perfect so we have both of them ready now we can begin building our docker compose file so how do we build this is we can uh so do something like sudo nano docker compose dot yml which is a docker compose file and we have created docker compose right here all right so how do we do that is um first of all we can write in the version here which is the uh, which which is hyphen 3.8 so i'll just write here 3.8 for the version of Docker Compose. This is also deprecated, but I still write this for confirmation. So I can now declare the services inside my Docker Compose file, which can be first of all Flask app. So this service is extracted for from the image. Now the image is my username part 2k3 slash the name of the image, which is Flask in this case, and the tag for that image image is latest. All right. Now I can write the container name for this. This is the container name which we had passed inside our Nginx uh, Docker image file, which was Flask. So now we can also put the parameter of restart as always. Now we can put the ports. For this, we can bind ports 5000 to 5000. All right, perfect. Now we can declare our nginx image. How we're going to do that is nginx. Then I'm going to import this from the image, which is part 2k3, which is the username for my Docker Hub and slash nginx, the latest tag. 
Now we can put the container name for this as Nginx and restart command as always. Now we can also add another parameter which just depends on, and I'm going to pass it just one thing which is Flask. So our Nginx file will give us an error if Flask app is not running correctly. Now we can configure the ports, which are the 80 port for Nginx. So yeah, I think this is our Toggle Compose file, and now we can save this using Control O, Enter, and X. So if I uh, go click on ls, I have Docker Compose .yml inside here. Perfect. So now we can begin uh, running this Docker Compose, and how we're going to run this is first of all we have to log in inside Docker. And how we're going to log in is by just simply running Docker login. And this shall ask the username and password for our Docker Hub account. Also, I'll just pass it to, I'll just pass my credentials here. And this should prompt me that login is succeeded. Perfect. So login is succeeded. And now we can continue running our Docker Compose file. So, how do we run this? It's simply Docker Compose. Up and I will just pass the build flag to build the image as we do not have the pulls for it currently. So I'll just run this command and I think okay, there's there's a there's an error with the format for ports, so I'll just fix it. And all right, I think I missed a space right here. Perfect. Now I think it should work. Now if I run Docker compose up and have an build, it should start fetching Docker images. Okay, it says that is permission, so I need to run the sudo command with it. So to sudo docker compose up and have an iPhone build, it should probably run. Now it should it has started pulling the flask app, so we'll wait for that image to get pulled and it will pull the nginx as well. And now it will try to run that run both the images together with Docker Compose. All right, so we can see that our image is running. And now I think it is working perfectly fine. If I go to my public IP, it should work great. So if I copy my IP right here and I go to browser, paste this, and remove the HTTP, remove the S from HTTPS. And so yeah, perfect. We can see our Flask app hosted on EC2 with the help of Docker. And that's how you can actually use Docker Compose, Docker, and Docker Hub to host a Flask app and build images for Flask and Nginx as well and run them concurrently using Docker and Compose file. So that's how you can host your Flask app on EC2 with Docker. And that's it for the video. Thanks for watching, guys.